Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro. Today, Apple has released iOS 16.3 RC to all developers today. Came about 5.1 gigabytes on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. On my 13 Pro Max, I installed it. Build number is 20D47. So you've passed the build number. And there's a lot to talk about today. So let's get started. Okay, so in settings, go to wallpaper, add new wallpaper, scroll down. You guys can see Apple's added a brand new Unity wallpaper. See, on iOS 16.3 and earlier, we only had one Unity wallpaper. Now we got two. So brand new wallpaper, really nice. Another feature that iOS 16.3 introduces in general throughout the entire beta software up to now is a feature called security keys. It basically replaces your Apple ID's two-factor authentication and you use an NFC chip to, for your Apple ID two-factor authentication then. So it says here, a certified security key is a third-party hardware that you can use for two-factor authentication when you sign in. And the strongest account security, physical security keys provide strong protection against phishing and, and unauthorized access to your account. And it says it replaces verification codes. A physical security key replaces the verification code sent to your device when signing in or setting your password. Basically, what this means is, is if you guys worry that there might be a fake email with a code in it, that like a phishing attempt, you, the physical key can prevent that. Basically, you hold it up to the NFC chip on the back of your phone, and it basically authenticates. That's basically how that works. And so for the rest of this video, I want to talk about the release notes for iOS 16.3, because they're very interesting. So when I click learn more, zoom in, I already talked about the first two things at the top. The new set, third thing is, it says it adds support for the new second generation Apple HomePod. So let me pull up the web page here. So Apple did introduce the new HomePod today, the standard HomePod, second generation. I actually have four first generation HomePods, one there, two there, three there, and the fourth one's on my nightstand, which doesn't work right now. But I've been using the three HomePods combined all at once, same volume level, everything. And it made my room sound like a movie theater. That's how powerful and strong these standard HomePods really are. I'm being serious about this. It can rumble another room, like across another townhome, to the point where my Apple Watch's nice day mode will wake up. It's very interesting. And have you had that instance where if you held down the side button, it would call emergency SOS? But now Apple changed it. So emergency SOS calls now require holding the side button with up or down. So you can no longer just hold the side button to make a call. You have to hold the side button like volume and side at the same time for it to work. And then release an order to prevent an, an, an advert emergency call. Apple basically did this because back in iOS 10.2 or iOS 12, Apple introduced this thing called emergency SOS. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And a lot of people would get a false, um, falsely call emergency by holding down the side button. That's why Apple did that. Next thing, fixes an issue in freeform or some Draw, drawing strokes created without pencil or your finger may not appear on shared boards. Never experienced that. Fix an issue where home screen lock screen widget does not accurately display the home app status. I've experienced that before. Address as an issue where Siri may not respond properly to music requests. I have experienced that a lot. Or if I say one song, it will play it on a different one. That I've experienced that a lot. And the last change. Resolve an issue where Siri requests in CarPlay may not be understood correctly. Not experienced that either, but I experienced the uh, Siri in the home widgets not displaying properly. I've experienced that many times. All right, so that's iOS 16.3 RC for you guys. And I'm predicting that Apple may release this sometime on February 3rd due to the HomePod release date because the HomePod second gen requires iOS 16.3 to work. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked this video, give this video a thumbs up. Next video, peace out.